Well, good morning, everybody. Chuck here with No Time To Be Sad, and we have survived Songkran. It was a great three days. Today, I'm gonna head to Nakom Panom by myself and go check on mom. I need to call her this morning and ask her what her plans are um, for my visit. Does she need to go to a lot of places or what does she wanna do? Because I'd rather just come back tonight because I gotta go to the airport tomorrow and pick up Daz in the afternoon. But if my mom has a lot of stuff to do, I'll just stay the night uh, in the Kompanom and then wake up, have breakfast and spend all day with mom too. I'm sure she would like that. But even if, even though I, <laughs> I'm rambling on this morning, I'm just, I'm discussing my plans in my head out to you. Um, if she, if she doesn't have a lot to do, I'll still go tomorrow and visit with her again before I go pick up Daz. But I think Songkran's over in the Kompanom too. It was pretty crazy from what my friends were sharing posts to me over there. It looked like a really good time. I don't drive. I really don't want to drive now because there's a lot of um, checkpoints and stuff like that. So at nighttime, I won't really be able to go too many places at night. Um, I don't know. I have a bicycle at my mom's. If there's something going on down there, maybe we'll go for a little ride on the river. Something, something like that. My mother-in-law still is not feeling well. She's, um, she feels like she's got cold chills. She doesn't have a fever. I don't really know what's going on with her. She's been going back and forth to the clinic. But I think she's overheated. Like it has been so hot. Like our, your, I think if your body temperature is so hot for so long, because I've been feeling, I know I've been tossing water, but like I slept like 12 hours and then still took a nap. Like I've been that tired, like a, like an old person. But uh, I'm really worried about her. So, you know, there's a lot of things that needs to be adjusted in the house because of her age. I was thinking where the kitchen was, we just closed that off and put a glass door. And then in the front, put the glass door, just air conditioning in there so we can turn the air conditioner on during the really, really hot days like now. Like we have to, we have to think um, ahead. I know my father-in-law, he's like uh, a very strong person, never sick, always okay. But other people might not be as strong or can deal with with weaknesses like he can. I'll just say that. So Paige is also a little bit on the edge, frustrated. I said, you know, you're gonna have to put your foot down. Um, this is your house too. And your father is having a difficult time relating. So you're gonna have to put your foot down and say, this is it. This is what we're doing at this point in your lives. And that's it. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see. So anyway, Kat, are you taking a nice bath over here? What are you doing? <laughs> are you a flasher? Are you chilling? Anyway, the little drama of the day. My, my mother-in-law is healthy. She's, uh, she's a little bit, she's a little over, well, she's a lot overweight and not real active, but that she doesn't get out enough. She's she has to cook three meals a day, and she's, she's just a stay-at-home person, but she doesn't really like to travel that much. I don't know what the future is gonna hold. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, well, it will be in a more positive direction. Good morning. <laughs> anyway, let me get off the street here. Everybody's looking at me like, what is that crazy fella I'm talking about? Good morning. Let's go uh, say hi to everybody, and then we'll call mom and see what we're gonna do today. I've been eating this soup almost every day. I make my own, sometimes I crave like eggs, toast, bacon, stuff like that. But this is, I don't know, it's a Vietnamese soup. It's called something different in Vietnam. Here they call it Thai Cao, Cao Biak Sen, which is a cow is like a rice, Biak is sticky, Sen is noodle. But um, they call it here Kapiak Sen. I think some other places they call it Goi Chap in Thailand, Goi Chap. But for me, I think that it depends on where you're at. Sometimes they put a lot of flour or starch or whatever they put in there to thicken it up. It tastes good, but it's thick, like thicker soup. 
but I don't know why this is just a very good and addicting it's like I can't start my day without a couple cups of coffee and coffee accent. <laughs> All right, well, I'm out of here. If I stay, I'll call you. I don't know. I brought a change of clothes. Mm -hmm. I brought a change of clothes. I got to bring mom her stuff. Mm -hmm. Fix a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Working. Okay, working. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm headed to Nacompanom. I used to go here quite a bit because I had, I don't know, quite a few friends here. Some of them have already left. A couple of them actually died, they were older. And uh, my English, British friend, I used to play golf with him. But I don't know what happened there. Maybe I said something to him, who, who knows? Sometimes I say things and people are, people are sensitive about it or whatever and they didn't, we didn't really talk about it. It ain't like my other friends where if I say something, they'll just say something back. They know I'm just joking. <laughs> but um, he brought some golf clubs back from England a couple years ago. He goes, hey, I brought these back for you so we can play, you know, and you can have your own set, you know. I know he wasn't giving them to me, but he brought them so that, you know, I could go play with him. And uh, he's in and out sometimes, not feeling well. He had some cancer in his ear. He had a cancer spot on his head. And he has diabetes and he had a problem with his foot, not healing up, had a hole in it. So that kept him from playing golf. But he had told me before, if I want to use the clubs to go play with our friend Burl, that they were there. <laughs> and then one day when I, I went to Udon, to go play golf with my friend. I said, well, let me send him an email because he doesn't, he can't hear, so he don't answer the phone. I said, hey, I hope everything is going, you know, it's nice. You know, he, he is my friend, so I thought. And I just basically said, hey, can I, you know, borrow your golf clubs for a couple of days um, to play golf, just like that. And he responded back. No, he didn't respond back. And this is Dunn's boyfriend. They're not even married. They've been together for who knows how long, many, many years. And I said, uh, is he okay? Is Courtney okay? I was, you know, I was asking him if I could borrow his golf clubs, but I didn't hear anything back from him. Um, she goes, oh, I'll check and see if he got the email or not. And just soon after that, I got an email and he just said, basically, um, I'm going to start playing golf next week as I'm feeling better, but I'm not in the business of lending out golf clubs when I'm not playing golf. And that was it. <laughs> I was like, okay. I just responded, okay, I hope you, uh, I said something very polite back because I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he's just having an off day, but I haven't talked to him at all. And um, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. That's just the way it is here. I think if you're coming here and you need to rely on having a bunch of friends, you know, uh, it could be difficult. I, I do pretty good by myself anyway. You know, people are, we're, we're all different, especially when, you know, we're not, we don't work together and we don't have the same common interest like your friends back home or relatives. Uh, you know, they're just, people just come and go. So you, uh, you have to be able to do pretty good by yourself, which I do. <laughs> I don't know why I shared that with you. I just thought it was kind of goofy, funny. Um, but I probably ought to buy a set of clubs just to have at the house. I know Paige frowns on it, but <laughs> it's okay. I'll tell her to calm down. It's okay. Just get something on like Facebook Marketplace or something. Just kind of like a cheap pair of cl clubs because I do always have a lot of friends that come over that want to play golf but a lot of them don't have clubs either and I don't think they rent them up here at this course anyway let's go to mom's enough talking
yeah, I don't know if I'm going to stay here or not. Looks like it's still kind of busy. A lot of police checks, which means that still a lot of people here at night. So I don't know. Maybe I just go home and come back tomorrow. The reason why I'm saying that, because if I go out anywhere, I'll have to walk. Because I don't want to drive and have a beer at dinner or something like that. And I don't want to sit in a hotel. I could just sit in a hotel and call Grab. But uh, I don't want to participate in the police check. <laughs> That's just a haul. Mom in her fishing lure shirt. Yeah, my favorite color, green. It's the <laughs> color of money. She got her air conditioner going. Yeah. It's just so hot, though. I think we're thinking about where I was because I'm always thinking about maybe just putting a curtain here. But don't they have that plastic stuff they hang? Yeah, Paige said they have these little retractable plastic doors that you can get on Lozano too. Really? Yeah, because it's kind of common in Thailand. Everything is in the open, you know, so. Well, how would you get it? But I was just thinking, get a curtain and just hang it up here and you can just open and close yeah, it just to keep the cool. Yeah, you just stay in your hole. My mom's worried about people looking in here because she's, you know, she's got a heavy traffic area. They need a, I think only one person has the key to that gate, so. Yeah, Lee, well, I'm and you. But Lee's in, Lee's in, uh, she's in London right now, so she's going to have a hard time peeking in your window. Anyway, my mom's chair broke because plastic stuff just does not last here. So I have this little bracket here that I, it's like to mount something, a bracket, you know, like L bracket. And I'm just trying to, um, trying to figure out a way because what holds this little piece in here broke because it's just a little tiny piece of plastic. And like I said before, a hundred times, plastic does not last in Thailand. So I found this, it actually fits in there pretty good. So if I can just figure out a way to get it mounted, I think I can fix that. The rigger. All right, let's see if it works. Try using pushing back while you're pulling, so you're not putting all your weight on that cable. You know. Do what? Push back on the backrest yeah, while you're doing it. Yeah, we so, tried it. Do it again. Yeah. Instead of just pulling the cable, you know. That's amazing. If not, I'll have to rig something else up. That's awesome. Thank you so much, you boy. You can lean down. <laughs> wow. So far, I think this is mom's favorite place. Good hamburgers, other than KFC and pizza. I'm getting a little tired of KFC. No idea. You should try something different here, mom. Like what? I don't know. Mom's gonna try something different. This is like a like a baked chicken, but it kind of tastes like pork, though. Huh? It's good. It's got a good flavor too. Yeah, and I got a chicken chicken sandwich. Okay, well that was good. It is like crazy humid right now. It rained a little bit. Hear the music. Yeah, that music's coming from over there. I think they're still partying from Sunk. Could you imagine being over there? No. Holy crap, they I would do kill them. The yeah, they love it. Do they have the same festivals as here? I wonder if they have the same eardrums as us. Now, what is that? Is that a loudspeaker? Well, yeah. It sounds like drums. No, it's just bass from the speaker. I can't stand I'm going to have to pull out, Mom. I don't think you All can right. get here. Hang on. Anyway, that was good, 505 baht. Well, let's go into Mega Home real quick and see if we can find a curtain or something to close off that. We'll get some ideas, okay? Maybe close that off or 
something inexpensive. Little mini lawnmower for about $95. That's cool. I've been looking at this stuff here for that apartment that we're gonna we're gonna make eventually. Instead of going to IKEA, they have some good looking stuff here at uh, Mega Home. They've got better stuff here than they do at the Awesome Global House. I'm gonna get this for our shower here because uh, I'm tired of having water all over the floor. So I'll get that one. Yeah. It's not that expensive either. Yeah, that's nice. I like this. Yeah. It's pretty solid. You can actually buy these on Lazada too. And they'll deliver really? it. Yeah. But it looks like this is for this, and it's probably for the maybe a floor, a floor pan, maybe. Mom says she just needs something like that. <laughs> that ain't probably good, I guess. Nice little sectional. That's nice, huh? Huh? I mean, nice and warm. Yeah. Oh, look at these chairs. They swivel. Huh? Yeah, we were looking at these chairs with now. That's cool. Yeah. Let's see, it has a pad. Yeah. So That's nice. Bigger table in case I have more company. <laughs> well, I'll put something like that in a in a, in a, huh? in a apartment, you know. Yeah. All right. Here's what we got. We got two shower curtains. I don't know how it's going to look, but it's just I got to keep telling myself it's only to serve a purpose. <laughs> they have curtains there, but not the right length. We could have just got them, and then we could have cut them, and my mom could have hemmed them up. But it just needs to go here. And all we need to do is keep some cold air in there for her to sit here and, and relax. My mom's 72, so I don't want her to get overheated like my mother-in-law right now. So she needs a place other than her bedroom to cool off. And this year has like been the hottest ever in Thailand. I don't ever remember it being this hot. And also her neighbor's gone. Her neighbor used to leave the back porch light on. So my mom got this it's just a small 10 watt solar panel light it's got a remote and you can you can make it brighter dim i think it's got four levels of brightness but um i'll hook that up i guess i'll have to stay or, or come back and hook that up in the morning somewhere out here yeah Let's see what this is going to look like. Oh, well, there it is. Mom said now she needs a popcorn maker. Yeah, I need a popcorn maker. She got her own, she got her own theater in here. <laughs> Actually, it's already working because it feels good in here already. So that's all we needed was to keep some of the air from escaping out. Not like it was. Yeah. Huh? And she have a little privacy. She can have a, whatever she wants to do. Whatever she does in here by herself, I don't want to know. <laughs> I watch <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah, that works pretty good. Yeah. I think it's my chair. You did a lot today. All right, the one we got the light hooked up. The ones we checked at the store, he showed us they came on, but uh, he ended up giving us one in another box, and it's either not working or the battery, the light was left on in the box. But um, I can see it's doing something. I can see it, but there's no juice. So we'll have to wait till tomorrow and see uh, if the battery charges up. If not, I'll have to take it back. That'll be fun. But it does have an auto function. I'm not sure what that means yet. So we'll just leave everything. 
Well, I am heading back to mom's house. Gonna go check and see if that light works. If not, we'll have to take it back off and, and take it back to the store and try to return it. I have the receipt. I was there yesterday. So I'm on about two hours of sleep. Last night, we had some very noisy neighbors till about 1, 1.30. And then about just before three o'clock in the morning, a transformer exploded and caught on fire. I could see it out our window. <clears throat> so didn't get much sleep at all. It got really, really hot quick. And um, yeah, not a whole lot we could do but sit outside. So went back to sleep once the power came on early this morning for about an hour. But I don't know. I got to go pick up Daz from the airport today. Got to be there at 4 o'clock. Right now it is almost 12. <laughs> so let's go visit with mom for a little bit. We're going to come back out here to Nakompanom, I'm sure, with Daz. I don't know if my mother-in-law is going to be feeling up to it or not. But um, normally I can sleep pretty good, but sometimes that boom, boom, boom noise, I I'm sure you guys know it, but as we get older, our eardrums, I guess, become sensitive to certain sounds like screaming kids and heavy bass, at least for me. I was a mechanic most of my life. I worked at Ford. Probably all of this stuff has to do with me being a mechanic. I worked for many places, but Ford was one of them. I worked for eight years and they had a recall on their trucks. They used to, um, like these heavy duty rivet, rivets that would connect the frames and the cross members together on the trucks. And in time they would loosen up and it would creak and pop whenever they turn. So they had a recall to take out these rivets and replace them with you know, heavy duty bolts. And I didn't use ear protection most of the time. So I'm, and the whole shop was really hating me because it was so loud, but there was nothing I could do. I'd had, I'd have a, amongst all the other things I had to do during the day, I had at least five or six of these recalls a day. And I didn't really have time to mess with because it, it didn't really pay very well. So I just, you know, sharpened up my air hammer chisel and, bah, bah, and it was just, a lot of times I didn't wear ear protection. So I think most of my problems are from, from that. So, but I think when we get older, I don't know why I'm sharing that with you guys. <laughs> Let's go see mom. We'll go look at the progress of the mall too. I know you can't see it because the light's shining through here, but my mom sure has a nice view other than that walk right there. It is a pretty good view. It's better on the top. Good morning. Hey. You hiding? It's like a Muppet show. Huh? It's like a, like a theater. It is a theater. Is it cool in there? Yeah, you want to come in? You gotta come in around my chair though. Wow. Oh. oh, that's much better in here. I only been in here a few minutes. I just cleaned up everything. Was... Did that light come on? I turned it on. It came on. Okay. You want to look at it? Yeah, maybe it's... Maybe there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe I, I was trying to the on the remotes for the other lights and all the lights were coming on. So maybe it just came on in the box or something and maybe so. It's got like a rechargeable battery in it. I did a I did I looked on YouTube about it. Uh huh. Because I was looking out there and it only had one that one blue light. I thought I don't know, does it like get totally blue but Well there wasn't a light at all yesterday. There wasn't a light at all yesterday, so that's good. Yeah, well, it should be charged. How are you feeling today? Feeling great. Huh? How are you? Tired. Uh, well, tell me what happened. Yeah, that's good right there. So, if it, can you go lower? Yeah, I got this little thing here. The one that says half. Hang on. Well, let's try to figure it out here. On the bottom, it shows a, a big light and then a half a light. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. So it works. I just put a towel over it. And then, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to Big C. Mom's got. There's a pharmacy in there. Mom needs to get always a few things at the pharmacy. Most of the pharmacists here speak English because the medical school books are all in English, so they have to know. Mom, you did great up the stairs. A lot of people are concerned about the stairs for you, but it's a good form of exercise. And I sometimes I ask them if they've ever been to Thailand because not everything is a, like you, you no would problem. rarely find a smooth surface. I don't have a problem with the stairs or not. Unless you're walking in them all, but it's good for you to get you. I, I actually installed that rail. There was no rail there. Yeah, but one for the rail. Yeah, no, you couldn't make it without the rail. And then we also had this added to it too. You know, and I'm very cautious with mom. I put that everywhere all over the damn place for her, you know? Yeah. So, but if you're gonna live in Thailand and you're gonna actually go outside, you better watch what you're doing all the time because it's treacherous. But you lived in the country. So, I mean, there's always stomps and animals and all kind of stuff everywhere you know all right let's go i didn't hear you what i said after after you're 60 you're gonna watch where you're walking no matter where you are well i gotta do that too and i i'm almost there when Jim was here and they took a walk, did he tell you he falls his tail? Yeah, but Jim falls all the time. He does? Yeah. <laughs> does he just roll over? <laughs> yeah. Some people know how to just roll. Like a turtle, huh? I don't know how to roll. I break my head. <laughs> I return around. Uh, well, not much has done been done to the, the mall. I think it's just because it's a holiday right now, but... It looks like the foundation, the dirt foundation is done. So they've been working on this building here. I didn't know yes. what this was in front. At first I thought it was gonna be like a shop and it might be, the doors might be in the back. I think it, uh, because I don't see like bay doors in the back either. Oh, well maybe those are bay doors. What's that say? I don't know what it means, it's a name. But it's, it might be some kind of tire shop they like to have in front of the... It looks like... I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's a dollar store. Okay, we are at Big C. My mom... Uh, there's a good massage right over here. A full cup. And, uh, but mom doesn't have time. I gotta get Daz in a couple of hours. Actually, we have time, but she wants to wait. Yes. Hey. I think it's still a holiday today. It's packed. What is today? Uh, it is Wednesday. I think I've got big, I got big Wednesday letter on my watch now, so I know what day it is. <laughs> because I can't see. Well, the lady over here at the pharmacy speaks perfect English. She said she works here most of the time. So my mom needs something. She just got her thyroid pill here, so she knows she can get that. Right, we are back home. Every time we put one of these command hooks up, we have to use like a two-part epoxy because I don't know if it's just the humidity, but it just doesn't stick to anything, so you have to glue it. So anyway, this is good enough for the light. Maybe I'll put a loop here. Yeah. Well, that's good. I didn't have to take it back. 
I trimmed mm -hmm. mom's bushes. Trimmed her bushes since they got a little crazy. Yeah, I'll take a... When we got this house, the only thing that was in this house was that bed and that closet. All the other stuff we put in here, all those curtains were here. But look at this tile here, like it's all, every corner has different. We put all of this stuff in, all of that, all of this. But look, all the tiles, I think it's funny. Just whatever's left over, which is, it's okay, it's okay. But it's really cool in this house normally. Maybe because there's no light. You want me to turn the light on for you? Yeah. <laughs> I always give mom a hard time about it. My father in law is like that too. He can't he cannot leave, leave a room. Even though I put LEDs and all of these are LEDs that waste like zero electricity. But this is, was just an empty room. Same with this. The only thing that was here was that. And that table. Yeah, well this, yeah, the table and this. And the, that's bed. It. Yes. and the bed. Now you got that. And that, and that. And Which that. is working really good. Yeah, it's working awesome. Somebody was talking about the fan's not strong enough to push that much air out of here, but I don't know if they should buy one of these or, or check it out. That thing pushes out a lot of air. Yes. Yeah, I had to turn it down. It was so cold. Well, out the or, front it blows cold, but I'm talking about out the, the exchange, the heat exchange. No, it's fine. It really... It works. Yeah. If you, ever have a, if you ever have a cold winter, you know, you can just turn that thing around and heat yeah. up the whole damn place. Really? A cold winter? I don't even see that happening. Sometimes it gets cold. Well, maybe where you live, I don't know. It got cold one day Christmas time. You want to sit out or you want to? All right, I got to go pick up a big, ugly guy at the airport. <laughs> Hopefully that thing comes on. Yeah, it will. We just got her the small 10 watt. We don't need a floodlight, even though that's what that is, <laughs> theoretically. Pan is clean, Mom. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm here at the Nakompanom Airport. Pick up Daz. I, I, didn't, I parked over here. I thought maybe he'd be really busy. He's probably cussing at the, uh, the luggage deal right now. <laughs> Knowing Daz. But, um, yeah. Easy to get here. Actually, he told me it cost him less to fly here than it did for the taxi to uh, to get from uh, Jom Tien to Bangkok. I think he said it was like 1,600 baht to get there. That's loud. And a little over a thousand to uh, to fly. I'm looking for a big goofy guy. This is a really nice airport. It used to, of course, be the military, uh, American military back during the Vietnam War, but they've actually expanded the building on the other side, and hopefully they're waiting on the airlines um, right now to be able to expand because they want to go, they want to go to Suwanapum because right now they only go to Dan Muang, so they want to go to Suwanapum. And they're also trying to go to Phuket and um, I think Chiang Mai. But also this was going to be an international, I know I said it before, if you guys always keep up with the channel, um, they want to go to Vien Gian, the capital city of Laos, and they want to go to also to Vietnam. I'm not sure where in Vietnam, maybe Hanoi. I mean, uh, Da Nang. I had to guess. Boy, I am tired. <laughs> I did not take a nap. 
My mom was, my mom kept going, take a nap, let's take a nap. Go ahead and take a nap. You can lay on the couch or, and I said, no, I'll be probably in worse shape. Of course, if you have a driver's license, I don't know, some people say some licenses work in Thailand. I'm not really sure on that, but what I do know is if you have an international permit, you can rent a car. Of course, I have car rental here. And limousine service. Here he comes. How many times did you use the F-bomb? <laughs> How many F-bombs did you use in there? Oh, none. Oh, okay. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> It's a lot of people on this flight. It wasn't too bad. It was, it was a few empty seats. Uh, Not just the one next to me. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I got an empty seat. I was like, yeah, you're a scary dude, you know? Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. I got your pink bus waiting All for right. you. I, did, I parked over here. All right. We are home. I'm hungry, too. All I had was a sandwich. Hi, babe. What'd you cook me? What did you cook me? Mom got you guys some stuff. Bringing your, uh, your, your massive suitcase in. Yeah. I, I got one of these little Jimmy hats for yeah, my- Paige uh, got something like that. Oh. Everybody okay? I'm hungry. My meat. Okay. Go eat somewhere. Okay. It's overcast over here. Wait a minute, it's not overcast, it's smoke. Is it sunny in Bangkok? Man. Okay, mate? Okay, Nitnoy. Okay, Nitnoy. Oh, okay. Ready, mate? Where's the light? No. Doki, doki, doki. Because I'm here, or are you going faster? We're, we're going to walk down to Kua Nui's on the river. It's a little smoky, so it's, it's a little bit more breeze on the river, at least. It's blowing the smoky air over. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's avoiding it right but now. It's, it's fresh smoky air. They're right at the end of the, well, the beginning of the rainy season's coming, so they're trying to get everything cleared. They burn it and then they mulch it up. I'm sure there's another word for that. <laughs> Here comes the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> Everybody in town's going, oh my God, there's another one. <laughs> this one's even bigger. <laughs> there's happy Nong Nos. Today, are you happy? No. Today, are you happy? How? You happy today? Happy. Okay. I Top, top. Good, good. Happy every day? Happy every day. Me good, good. Me come soon. Okay, yeah. see you. พันทักรวมชีสมีมดเหรอฮะมีมีเกียนน่ะมีมีหมูทอดอ้อหมูทอดล่ะหมูทอดเม็ดมะม่วงลาบหมูเปรี้ยวหวานหมูแล้วก็
Paige's drinking buddy's coming. Her and uh, Matthew. What's her name? Uh, Lucy. Lucy. Sorry, I forgot. Lucy. Anyway, they'll be fun. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.